Simon Cowell has over two stories tonight's worst persons in the world. The bonds to Lonesome Roads back decides to take a jab at the former Clinton Secretary of Labor. Is it Robert Reich the Third or Robert Third Reich? It's Robert Reich. Next time you want to complain about one of the grown-ups waxing poetic or sounding Shakespearean or boasting about his oratory skills, maybe you could first make sure your brain is big enough to understand a comic book. Our runner-up, Charles Cooper, the attorney for the group that sponsored Prop 8 in California, now defending a legal challenge to it in front of U.S. District Chief Judge Vaughn Walker. Mr. Cooper asked Judge Walker to dismiss the suit, saying that Prop 8 had furthered California's goal of encouraging, quote, naturally procreative relationships. Judge Walker then asked the $64,000 questions. What is the harm to the procreation purpose you outlined of allowing same-sex couples to get married? The lawyer then said, my answer is, I don't know. I don't know. He then clarified, saying, there are things we can't know. That's my point. The people of California are entitled to step back and let the experiment unfold in Massachusetts and other places to see whether our concerns about the health care or the health of marital unions have been either confirmed or perhaps they have been completely assuaged. In other words, the attorney for Prop 8 just told the judge he has no earthly clue if same-sex marriages really do threaten male-female marriages or if they do, how they do. And our winner, Dennis J. Manning, the president and chief executive officer of the Guardian Life Insurance Company of America. He had issued a policy to Ian Pearl, resident of the state of New York. Mr. Pearl is 37 years old. He has muscular dystrophy and annual costs to keep him alive and functional exceed $1 million. So the Guardian Insurance Company did not cancel Mr. Pearl's policy. That would be illegal and it would be discrimination. No, no, that would be wrong. Plus, somebody at Guardian had a better idea. According to the conservative newspaper, the Washington Times, Guardian canceled the entire line of coverage that insured everybody like Mr. Pearl in the state of New York, wiped out an entire class of policyholders to avoid paying out for one guy with MD. Moreover, writes the Washington Times, in an email, one Guardian Life Insurance Company executive called high-cost patients such as Mr. Pearl dogs that the company could get rid of. A federal court ruled Guardian's action, wiping out the insurance of Mr. Pearl and the other dogs, was legal. So unless the Federal Department of Health and Human Services issues a special order, on the 1st of December, his benefits will vanish, and so will similar policies covering everybody else in the state of New York. These are the people the United States is fighting against. They agree to pay you if you get sick. You get sick. They don't pay you. Instead, they cancel your policy and every policy that looks like your policy. And they call you a dog. Dennis J. Manning, president of the Guardian Life Insurance Company of America, who should have to spend 24 hours in Ian Pearl's body. Today's worst person in the world.